title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to rest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. The baddest man on the planet put that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again. And he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of this belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters. As the Braves have the Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. Herb Dean, our referee for this Ready. one. Good. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the plate. He's hurt. He's wobbling. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a right hand. Oh, nice slip. And then the counter for him there. And... I know DC's in the bottom of his man. Can I just be the longer fighter from one UFC matchup? I get it, man. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Push kick there to the body. Nice shot there by the champ. It won't take many of those. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted and trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Lands a nice jab there. Slips the punch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, there's a big overhand. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, 
this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his boot. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. Oh, oh. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Big right hand. Oh! Oh! Huge left! All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game. inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around.